Okay. Q Forge again. I'm pretty angry about how this is turning out. I'm trying to stay calm and civilized. He was not calm and civilized in his reply. Basically, he called me a troll. So, there's his reply. I'll give you a chance to read that. Key points I want to point out here is uh, Hugh Forge says, I'm stealing from people. Yes, you are. And he says, I claim no commercial rights over your output from Hugh Forge. Yes, you are. I made a couple replies, realized once I saw this, that wasn't going to go very far. I was like, fine. You know, something. I was like, just go to bed. Get up in the morning, have coffee, have breakfast, whatever you do in the morning. Sleep on it overnight, think about it come back and reply again. He never came back. It's been over a day. Then I got a copy of the license. <laughs> why is my screen stuttering? I don't understand why my computer's having trouble keeping up. <sighs> so, this is the license for the software. It's actually a pretty small license. He pretty much made this himself, I'm guessing. Or found a very basic template somewhere. So, first of all, um, having a personal, non-commercial version and a commercial version of software is perfectly normal. Plenty of companies do that. Um, Fusion 360 does that. Um, um, SolidWorks does that. There, there's plenty of companies that have, you know, hey, here's a personal version. We're giving you this, you know, $5,000 software package at a really good price. You can't use it commercially, just for your own personal hobby use. And then if you want to, you know, make money, you know, obviously we need you to pay for our software, which is going to help you make that money. But keep in mind, the limitation on your rights is pay for your software. That's what you're owed, nothing more. So most of this is fine. There's nothing wrong with most of this. Now, keep in mind, this is going to become more important in the next part we discuss. Hugh Forge reserves the right to terminate your license to this software at any time they please. It says right here, the agreement shall commence on the effective date and shall remain in effect until terminated by either party, period. That's the end of the statement. So either the licensor, Hugh Forge, or the licensee, whoever buys the software, can terminate this agreement at any time. There's an additional explanation saying licensor may terminate this agreement immediately upon written notice if licensee breaches any provision herein. Upon termination, licensee may cease all use of the software, destroying any copies in their possession. The point is, for any reason or no reason at all, Hugh Forge can terminate your lawful access to the software that the United States law refuses to acknowledge you purchased. But that's another subject for another day. Now, besides that statement right there, which I question the legality of, uh, can you just take something from me that I've purchased? I don't know how that works. But that's what his terms say here. But most for the besides that one line right there, uh, there's nothing wrong with this license until you read the addendum. That's this one. Okay, it's pretty small. I noticed the requirement to secure a permit from Hugh Forge and to display permission to do commerce for your own creative works is no longer here. Uh, looks like he removed that. That's a start. Now just delete this entire second half. Basically delete this entire addendum, no longer part of the license, and I'll buy your software tomorrow. I can't really afford it right now, but 
$175 is a pretty decent bargain for what that software does. You're buying beta software, but still, he's probably going to improve it. I claim no commercial rights over your output from Hugh Forge. This right here is a claim of commercial rights for your output from Hugh Forge. Licensor, Hugh Forge, hereby grants licensee additional supplementary, non exclusive, non transferable license to sell tangible goods or to sell STL files or 3ML files. You can't grant me commercial rights to my own property. You see, you have similar wording here. I'm thinking maybe this is where the misunderstanding is. I don't know why this is running so slow. Licensor grants licensee a non-exclusive, non-transfer license to use the software subject to the terms and conditions of this agreement. Do I have a problem with that? No. Because this dude owns this software. He made it. And he's granting me authority to use this software. So he can grant me non-exclusive, non-transferable license to use the software because it's his property. So there's nothing wrong with that. The problem here is the items that I physically print and the STL3MF files that I generate using his software don't belong to him. They're not his. They're mine. They belong to me. He can't grant me rights that I already have. He, he cannot grant me rights to my own property. He can grant me rights to use his software for personal or commercial usage. But that's the limit. This wording right here says that not only is he claiming ownership... I claim no commercial rights and then proceeds to claim commercial rights. Not only is this him claiming commercial rights, but he's explicitly saying it. He's saying he grants it to me. Oh, and it's limited. <laughs> so, um, you know, Chaos Core Tech, if you wanted to make a logo for a company using Hue Forge, and you want to sell that logo to the company, you're not allowed to. It says here it's non-transferable, that the commercial rights to sell model files is non-transferable. So if you were to make a, for example, a real nice logo for Fixum Dude or for TH3D or something like that, or if you were to make a really nice Polymaker 3D logo, and Polymaker wanted to sell keychains of that, they're not allowed to. You're not allowed to sell it to them. <laughs> you're, you're not allowed to sell your own work to other commercial entities who are going to use that work in commerce. It says right here, it's non-transferable. You can't leave your work. If your works become worth millions of dollars, like you make the next Shakespearean play or the, the next you know Beatles song, you can't leave that to your children to earn royalties from. Because it says it's non-transferable and only to the end of your life. Dude, you are literally claiming commercial rights over other people's property. We call that stealing. You are literally stealing from people. By claiming commercial rights that you then, in a limited fashion, grant to the creators of those works. And, oh yeah, by the way, you can terminate it anytime you please. It's going so slow. Right here. You reserve the right to terminate it anytime they ple you please. But you're claiming no commercial rights. So, you people tell me.
what am I reading wrong here? Am I nuts? Or is that not exactly what that right there says? You want to make me happy? You want to do what's right for the community? Because I don't think so. I don't think the community should be supporting this. Stealing the community's work and granting us. Oh, master, granting us our own commercial rights to our work. Tell me where I'm reading this wrong. I don't think companies should be supporting this kind of behavior. Supporting other companies that want to steal artists' work. I don't even have plans to use it commercially if I were to buy it. I'm probably not skilled enough <laughs> to make any commercial use of it. But I don't want this kind of precedent being set. Where people think they have the right to claim the commercial rights of other people's work. And that's exactly what that says. And if he terminates your license, even stuff you've already created according to him, is no longer commercially available to you. Because your commercial rights would terminate with the termination of this agreement. <laughs> That's what it says. I'm the crazy one? I don't want to fight this dude. I think he's making an amazing piece of software that's doing amazing things. But he doesn't have these rights. And nobody should accept it.